today, Carol, Wa, and I are going to show you how to make a face mask. This is the pattern we're going to use today. So if you want to um, pick the pattern, there's a link down below. So click the link and pick. I'll say this is the large size. It's going to pick me, uh, Wa, and Carol. So for that, we need to cut two fabric pieces of the size because we have two fabric pieces. I've already cut that and we need a breathable line. So what I did, I cut one of these patterns and cut it in half. This is the lining one, I'll cut in half. This is the two fabric parts and we need two elastic pieces to go around your ears. This one we measured at 22 centimeters. Right sides together, the fabric. Yeah. And the lining. I'm just gonna place the lining like this on one side. That's what I'm gonna do. See? On the one side we got two fabric facing right side together. On the other side we got the lining cut in half on the both sides. So I'm gonna pin it so along the curve first. This curve there from there to there and this curve here from there to there. So who's gonna have a go first? Carol or what? You gonna have a go? Okay, yes. I'm just gonna sew all around here, okay? I think I'll be just to pop. Right, mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the other side. All four layers mm -hmm. on the side. So Wild's gonna sew all those four layers together. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is how it sh should look. Wild's sewn all along this two curves. So, this is what we're going to do, we're going to flap this seams, otherwise it's going to be bulky on your face. The front side of the mask, I'm going to do two top stitches, one here and one there. So make sure your seams flat at the back. We need to bring top into that one there. Make it all same the both sides. See? This same like making the same side. So this is gonna be cover your nose side. So we're gonna leave a gap on the bottom to take this inside out. So what's gonna sew all around here, leaving a gap to turn it inside out. Okay. What you're gonna do, just stitch all around here, okay? There we go, yeah, keep going. So this is the mask that was sewn. This is the lining bud. I've done the stop stitch and I've well done all the sewing. This is the gap we leave, leave it left to turn this inside out. So what's gonna turn that inside out? If you want, we can flip the corners. Otherwise it's gonna be a bit bulkier. So you turn this inside out. This is the mask that Wa just saw. So this is the gap we left to turn that inside out. And Wa's gonna do a top stitch all around the mask. That's good. This is this is what Wa's on. This is gonna be your top. This is the bottom of your mask. So on the inside. Mask gonna sew. Turn this end to the inside, and we're gonna stitch along there. 
to thread the elastic through. And we do the same to the other side. Yeah, turn that inside and do a straight stitch there. So we already cut the elastics. These are two, 22 centimeters long. And well, do you think you'll be able to do that? So I'm gonna just find a hairpin like that. Yes, well done. See? So, if you want, you can just use the sewing machine and do a little stitch line there. Shall we do that part? Very good. Okay, it's gonna work. Yeah. So, if you want, hide the stitch inside this line here. So, I'll just pull it yeah, like that until that goes in that channel there looks clean now. Mm, perfect. Yeah. Voila. Well, are you gonna a model? How are you gonna wear your mask? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this is gonna be up your nose. This is your bottom. Yeah? Okay. Here's your mask. Wow. Nice one. Good job. What do you think? Good. So we're going to make more masks in the activity center with the help of you know uh, the students here you can buy a mask or if you want to make a mask come and join our sewing group mm, we want to say a big thank you to melissa for making this yes yeah. oh uh, if you want to wear a mask please keep safe and please if you want to sell white now we come out you want a mat like thank you, thank you. Thank you.